A client requested for 10 liters bitter leaf soup, otherwise known as Ofo Nobo. Yes, and here in my pot, you can see I already have my clean goat's meat that has been seasoned with just um, seasoning cubes and pepper. This does not need onions, okay? Then after seasoning this, I, you know, just allow it boil before adding some water so I can get more stock from the, you know, the meat. All the list of all the ingredients used for this recipe will be listed in the description box. I extracted palm nut juice from um, the pan kernel fruit, otherwise known as banga. Yes, and you can see me adding my stockfish. This is also known as isio kuroko. Yes, after adding my um, the head of the stockfish to this, I cleaned and you know separated the. Uh, dry fish the client requested for more dry fish and smoked chicken in the soup okay there you can see my bitter leaf what i do is that i divide the bitter leaf into two portions i boil a part of it to reduce the bitterness and the other portion i just add it that way okay so here you can see my paste has um boiled my palm nut paste has boiled to a certain level before i added the meat stock here in my mortar you can see i've pounded the already cooked cocoyam yes also known as a day yes not just the normal cocoyam and you can see me adding this to the palm nut paste which will help to thicken the soup now you can see that after the cocoyam has dissolved in it it's now having this slurry vibe i want to quickly say that the cocoyam is what thickens the soup but if you notice that you do not have enough cocoyam i will advise you you know make sure your banga paste is thick the next thing i add is my ogiri bowl. yes i even eat this no, raw uh -huh. that to tell you how nice and delicious it tastes before adding my crayfish grinded pepper and all the proteins i intend using for this recipe i want to quickly say at this point that if you have not liked this video please like this video subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section if you like bitter leaf soup Today's special hug is to Rosemary Okwekwe's TV. Thank you so much for watching my video, beautiful sis. I love and appreciate you. After adding all my proteins, I, you know, added my already washed bitter leaf you want to allow this bitter leaf cook for a while before you know turning off the heat why because if a bitter leaf doesn't cook well it will not give it this very good onubo flavor so another way you can know your bitter leaf has cooked very well is when you see oil settle at the you know the side of the pot And here you can see my soup looks so good, looks so delicious. Yes, and the client really, really loved it. Thank you so much for watching my delicious people. I will see you in my next video.